Hello today's video we have the following content. Tang Yan, her love life is like Miss Wang in Flowers, who is more courageous than frustrated, and she and Luo Jin are called model couples. The TV series Flowers became popular, and Tang Yan, who played Miss Wang in the play, became popular again. She used to clean the toilet for her boyfriend, but was not recognized by him. Now, with her acting skills, she is said to be a woman living in love. In the play, Miss Wang did not get the expected love. She wanted to live a plain life with the Bao, but their identities were different, which meant that they were destined to separate. In reality, Tang Yang can be called a winner in life in terms of love. Although she met bad people before, she met the right person who could accompany her for life at the right time. Tang Yan's career started quite high. In 2002, she was admitted to the Central Academy of Drama to study acting. After graduation, she worked with many Hong Kong stars and acted in many TV series. But in the past two or three years, there was no big movement after the drama she acted in were broadcast, and few viewers knew her. In 2009, Hu Jie asked her to participate in Legend of Sword and Fairy 3. The role of Zixuan in the play made Tang Yan a beauty in ancient costume, and she became famous all of a sudden. Her career progressed smoothly, but she was very cautious and trembling in the relationship. There was a media report that Tang Yan became a lover after she met Gao Yangxiang in 2008. They were together for three years, and Gao Yangxiang wanted to start a family. He proposed marriage many times, but Tang Yan wanted to work hard on her career, and finally they parted ways. In 2011, Tang Yan met Qiu Yuzhe when she was filming The Three Daughters of the Xia Family. Then they met because of the play and fell in love. Qiu Yuzhe was very attentive when pursuing her. He asked her out for dinner during the break of filming, and a bunch of sweet words made Tang Yan very happy. After Tang Yan fell in love completely, she kept lowering her posture and willingly devoted herself to the other party. Tang Yan went to Taiwan to see Qiu Yuzhe whenever she had free time. She did everything by herself, including washing clothes cooking, and cleaning toilets for him, without a single complaint. She devoted herself wholeheartedly, allowing Qiu Yuzhe to fully enjoy the benefits of love. However, after the two of them were photographed together by the media many times, he always avoided talking about this relationship. What is even more incomprehensible is that every time Tang Yan was interviewed, he required Tang Yan to respond to the media according to the prepared lines. Tang Yan went to celebrate his birthday, but he didn't let Tang Yan go out saying that he didn't want to be photographed by the media. Tang Yan put her attitude very low in this relationship, almost down to the dust, but Qiu Yuzhe still betrayed her. After discovering Qiu Yuzhe's derailment, Tang Yan finally gave up this relationship. At this time, Tang Yan suffered a setback in her relationship, and her career was also criticized by many people, saying that she had no acting skills and would only play silly and sweet. Tang Yan took the pressure and quietly adjusted her mentality, ignoring those bad comments. At this time, Luo Jin publicly responded to those doubts. It turned out that during those depressed days, Luo Jin had always been Tang Yan's flower protector, guarding her and giving her warmth. In December 2016, when Tang Yan celebrated her birthday, Luo Jin made their relationship public. Everyone felt it was quite sudden, but they could accept it. You know, they have collaborated in many TV dramas, especially in the drama Diamond Lover, the roles they played were recognized, and everyone said they had a special CP feeling. After the relationship between the two was made public, Luo Jin never hid his love for her. He would help her with her hair on the set and always hold her hand when attending events. In October 2018, the two lovers announced their marriage. Luo Jin is usually very frugal, but he still prepared a very luxurious wedding, turning Tang Yan into a happy little princess. After they got married and had a baby, Tang Yan rarely went out to work and spent more time at home. Luo Jin, on the other hand, worked hard to act well and supported the family. Couples with stable relationships smile more. From Flower, we can see that Tang Yan's state shows that she is still full of girlishness. Their ordinary but happy days make many people full of expectations for love. Look at Tang Yan's previous boyfriends, none of them manage their own happy marriages. Obviously, choosing the right person in marriage is too important. If you look for candy and broken glass, you may find it, but you will be bruised all over. But if you can choose in a candy supermarket, the possibility of picking something you like is much greater. The key is that you will not suffer, but will just move forward happily. The ability to choose a partner is the fundamental element of a happy marriage. When you are with the right person, 
Communication will be smoother and the direction of moving forward can be consistent. Tang Yan is over 30 years old, but her state is getting more and more girlish. The happiness on her face is all because Luo Jin treats her like a princess. In the bustling and flashy entertainment industry, this couple has become a model couple praised by everyone. It is the end of the year again, and many people who are in love will discuss marriage at this time. I hope everyone can choose the right person, just like Luo Jin and Tang Yan, manage their marriage well together and make their lives better and better. Next news. The current situation of the 85 flowers is different, Liu Yifri has three consecutive hits, Zhao Liyin and Tang Yan are proud, and Yang Mi is lagging behind. Speaking of Chinese drama actresses, Tang Yan, Yang Mi, Liu Shishi, Liu Yifri, and Zhao Liyin have attracted much attention. It is said that ancient puppet dramas are exclusive to those born in the 90s. But in fact, the top resources are still in the hands of the 85 flowers. For example, Zhao Liying's The Journey of Phoenixes, Liu Yifri's The Story of Roses, and Tang Yan's Flowering Flowers are all proud works in the past two years. However, the development of the 85 flowers is completely different now. Let's talk about Yang Mi first. Yang Mi can be said to have three consecutive flops this year. This year, she has broadcast three works in a row. Nothing can't be solved by a hot pot failed at the box office, and the later Harbin 1944 and Fox Spirit Matchmaker were even more flops. The former was ridiculed by the whole network for her acting skills, and the latter failed silently. At present, Yang Mi has also starred in All Things Grow, and she has begun to challenge rural themes again. Playing a village woman with bangs, she has challenged all the themes. I hope to see a new side of her. However, the failure of film and television dramas cannot stop her commercial value. In the latest exposed business activities, Yang Mi wore a white suit and smiled, still the beautiful Yang Mi. The same is true for Liu Shishi. She can't produce a hit work, but she has attracted countless fans with her appearance and temperament, and she is very beautiful. At the Olympic Games, she changed three sets of clothes a day and brought goods in various ways. Perhaps, in the current domestic entertainment, appearance and temperament are also unique advantages. After talking about Yang Mi's three consecutive failures, we have to talk about Liu Yifei's three consecutive hits. In the past few years, Liu Yifei's main focus was on movies, and she starred in heavyweight works such as Mulan. But her comfort zone has always been idle dramas. After returning to the TV screen, she has brought three hit dramas in three years. They are Dream of Hulu, Go to the Windy Place and The Story of Rose. It is said that she will have a serious illness next, and will work with an way to star in a female movie. Who said that women have no roles to play after 35? Liu Yifei slapped her in the face with her achievements. Appreciate some of the latest photos of the fairy sister, she is really beautiful. Of course, Zhao Liyin and Tang Yan are also very proud. Zhao Liyin has many classic works and is very productive, but she always misses the Magnolia Award. Until this year, she won the 100 Flowers Best Supporting Actress Award. This is also an important springboard in her acting career. Now she has also cooperated with Feng Xia Gang, challenging the heroine drama again, and completely opened up the film road. She also has the ancient idol hit The Phoenix, and her current development has been far ahead. In the exposed business photos, she is wearing a vest and a skirt, and has short hair, which is too capable. Tang Yan spent three years to conquer flowering flowers, and the result did not disappoint. She also won the nomination for Best Actress. Because of this drama, Tang Yan's status has changed a lot. She is the last to appear in major events, which shows how much she is valued. In a recent event, Tang Yan wore a beige suit and let her long hair down. She is still as optimistic as ever. This is what is called fame nourishes people. In general, Yang Mi and Liu Shishi are lagging behind in the film and television field. Which one do you like best? Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 